buffalo hide. Or a buffalo hide. Sewn with sinew, colored with yellow ochre, and trimmed with blue fur. Cult made in the early 1800s and is in remarkable condition, so it says. And it is. It is. wonder what the buttons are made out of. It looks like abalone, doesn't it? It's like metal to me. No, it's, it's a shell. It looks like an abalone shell. Oh, I see abalone. No, look at it. Look at it. Yeah. Looks like 
wagon? I know, and everybody was looking over your shoulder and wanting to see the stuff, and you were sitting there going, No, this is you. Well, I can't squint my eyes from you. I'm looking over. Look, Mom, my eyes are both are open. Well, I can't see. What's this called? Blacksmith shop. Another one? Built in Matisse, Wyoming. Matisse. About 1895, thank you. Care just to me. Same here. What are you looking at? Well, another, another nice comment there. It's commentary along this is going to be twaddle. Twaddle. Twiddle twaddle. Don't look real new. Chuck wagons. Chuck wagon roundup. Here. Check out those wheels. Huh? That's a sheep wagon. Sheep wagon. Uh. Remember that one we saw? Those quick wheels. <laughs> I won't say anything. Their nose to the grindstone, working hard. <laughs> Isn't that funny how I got mom to do that? Bet she feels real stupid. <laughs> you told me to do it. You don't do everything I tell you. Two deer that have their horns locked together and caught up in a bunch of uh, barbed wire. And from the looks of the fur and all, it's probably just re recent, within the last year or so. It smells. Hmm, it kind of smells like Ryan. I don't know, though. Hi, Mom. Okay. Too much, can you? So I thought. Mom. Oh my gosh. It's a homestead cabin. It's a homestead. It was a homestead cabin built on Wood River, west of Matisse, Wyoming. I'm not saying that right. Matisse. In the late. 1890s. It's a fine example of log craftsmanship. Judge for yourself. It is. It very is.
What's this all about, Dad? Let's we'll go read here. It's Every stable. Uh, building was built near Clarksburg Canyon or Cody. Why are we in the late 1890s? Why take it off auto focus? It's big. So it'll focus in. Otherwise, it's going to be focusing. Uh... Why well, I'm focusing this in? No. Oh, are you? What's this thing? Oh, sorry. The oh, words. What the heck? No, all you're doing is taking the right here. Wait for a split second. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Dad. background here. Bill. 
in relation to Buffaloville.
shell oh, yes, store. Do. This building was the first store built in a shell. In Shell, Wyoming. 1890. All right. Oh. In Shell, Wyoming. <laughs> shell. Mm. shell store. Let's see any shells. Oh, shelves. Uh, let's go. Hey, oh, Kathy. yeah, it is. <laughs> On the Wood River, west of present. Wyoming. 1884. It was used. Just read it. It derives its name from the tragic death of Alfred Noor. Who died? Of gangrene in his cabin in March of 85. He had and chopped himself in the leg while hewing logs. Hewing me, taking mm -hmm. them out. Chopping logs. No. <laughs> Did he hew his leg? Why are you going to spell H E W? Here it is. H. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Oh, yeah. Buffalo Hunter's Cabin. Cabin built on Shell Creek at the hunting camp of Jim White and Oliver Hammond in 1880. Jim White was murdered at the camp in late October 1880. The cabin was later used by Al Kirshner and his family. Kirshner homesteaded the property in 1889. Come on in. Oh, you do it this time. <laughs> <laughs> you get caught. I'm going to get caught in film. Like you did. <laughs> you told me to. Look <laughs> yeah. at all those buffaloes dead. There's big medicine. Where? Up in the right, left hand, right corner. Nice hatter. hatter. Well, that was him. <laughs> he had stupid hair. Get out of the way. Look, there's big medicine again. <laughs> oh, shut up. Check out all these other guys. They're not romping now. Another oh homestead cabin, built by homesteaders on Monument Hill near present, near present Cody, Wyoming, about 1900. Many Eight. homesteaders were compelled to sell or abandon their places as, as it, it was, was difficult, difficult to make, make a living on a small piece of land. Together. cabin home of Custer's Crow Indian Scout Curly. Curly escaped from the Battle of the Little Bighorn on June 25th, oh, well. 1876. No, he wasn't. That was yesterday. Uh -huh. And brought the news of Custer's defeat. The cabin was built near Crow Agency, Montana, about 1885. That's why you guys got married on that day. <laughs> That's why. Come on! Another act of mom being silly again. And we thought it was Jason. Curly Hair. Curly Hair. Curly Hair. I thought it was the last name. 
Yeah. Indians usually don't. Because most of these hairs too cool. Get a lot of pictures taken out of the guy. Well, he was famous afterwards. Why? Why? Oh. Come out with spit and down the street. No, he was famous. Yeah. Right there. He what? How? Always being disgusting. Oh, we can get that on tape, do you? <laughs> no, not directly. What? Just indirectly. Indirectly. I don't know where he gets all this stuff. Whatever his name is. signs in there um, in the curly cabin. I don't remember where it was that I read it, but I just read it like about two weeks ago, just before we left, that it says there that they adopted George Old Elk as their only child. I didn't expect to go that far. Mine, mine stops, you know. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Well, see you later then. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. I hope you're going to enjoy your trip as you go east. That'll be nice. Oh, uh, nice job. And when you get very special. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, he only 
like a dog with pants, he would have made it. But he doesn't. And Carrie's dogs and cats are, are her life. Have a nice trip. Well, thank you. Yeah, Ready to go on? And, and uh, don't you get into the whole year to make your stuff? Well, we're going to drive up somewhere. It's going to be hot again today. But you're, um, no, the area that you're going into, a level has Mustang Bays, but then there's, there's an awful lot to see over there. You're going to be going into the Big Horn Canyon area. There's some, uh, oh, we're going to be in the Okay, did you, uh,
third one is they're on this side. The valley's on the left now. let the engine cool off a little. If we had to slow down to 35, we would go to 20. So it started to look like it might get a little hot and it's stuttering a bit. Don't wiggle the fence.
Stefan. Put your hat on right, Sally. spread ourselves with off. Oh jeez. <laughs> I don't believe it. It's not working as well as it should. <laughs> we need a fourth one to be going like this. Have no fun. <laughs> I'm a moose. It's a ten point moose. I'm an elephant. What are you? Dad? I'm just handsome. <laughs> She's a gorilla. <laughs> yeah. Gorilla. yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'll get the little dinghy here. I think that one bit me in the head. Now we're going to take this little path no, down to my the stream. Take my brains. <laughs> in the sunlight there, in the middle of by the print. Oh, I got it. Hey, buddy. Get out of the way, Yeah, he's... <laughs> Going across the woods. He's cranking. Pretty, ain't it? What kind of flowers are these, Mom? White. <laughs> Little flat white flowers. What kind of flowers are they, Mom? Purple daisy. Are you sure? No, but that's what it looks like. Okay. Like tiny little yellow daisies. What kind of flowers are these, Mom? I just said they look like tiny little yellow daisies. Well, that's what I thought you said. Bring it flicker, so. <laughs> the diamonds just sparkle, don't they? Yep. These are little pink whatever they are, little bells. Oh. A little big horn. As you can tell, it's sure is windy. And there's me father and me mother. 
My mom, my dad. And there's our little camper. I'm a cop, Mom. That's disgusting. Digging up his poor buried body. Yeah. That's that guy we shot uh, five years ago. You think it is? Yeah. Serving right. Next time he picks a wildflower around here, it'll get worse. Can't focus around. Oh, it is. Let me see. Let me see what. He, stay there, Dad. You got the other side of the window. Yes. Let me see. Yeah, the, the window is on the edge of the picture. Let me see. Now. Five. Ooh. Don't fall down.
1,200. Well, I'm going to go into some for my trailer. Yucca. She look cute in her jeans. Uh-huh. And, uh, 
got 10,000 herd of buffalo off to the right. Yeah. Spread. Slapping mosquitoes, huh? Spread around my waist, that's what it is. Yeah. What do we don't have? We don't have this flower. Okay. What flower? Show it to me. Can you figure it out? Got your glasses on? I can see it. It's big. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have this ribbon. Oh, come on, man. Brunch. Is that what he's doing? Mm -hmm. Not time for lunch yet. So it has to be brunch. I wish you could have saw him flying in. I know, we just did though. Yeah. We just missed it. Yeah. Thank you. I thought you were going to catch it. <sighs> Is it on? Not yet. Well, what are you walking down here for? Well, you just told me to come and get, get my jacket on. You got it up there and you had to walk down here to put it on? Yeah. Come on. Is it on? Sure. Turkey. You're in with my glasses on, you fool. Uh, old fool. focus? Yeah, okay. Let's go tweet, tweet. Put them back on. I've already saw you with them on. I don't care. Put them back on. No. I'm just going to follow you until you do. Okay. I'm going to see you stumble now. Done.
just hit the arboretum, wouldn't you, baby? <laughs> Thank you. so much it'll snow. Yeah, I know. Where are my cards at? Oh, what do you mean? The game's over. You went out. I know you went out. That's why we have doing? to count up. I have five points. <laughs> you tried to dump her cards. I have five points. I got a stinking 20. 20 points. And one for going out. That's it. What's wrong, Mom? Can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Better put your glasses on. These are hers. How much do you have? <laughs> Just put them on. No, how much do you have? Count them up. <laughs> how much does it say? I can't see them. And how many You can get out if you want to. Oh, I'm gonna take this out. Ooh, yeah. Da 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 Museum in Sheridan, Wyoming. It was built, I don't know when yet, we will find out inside, by a cattle baron. Because we've been through it before, but we're going to see it again. It was in a Flemish style of architecture. Built probably in the 20s or around the turn of the century, sometime that time. It's up on a hill and it um, overlooks the town of Sheridan. in 1913. It was built by John B. Kendrick, who began his career as a Texas trailhand in 79, bringing cattle to Wyoming. And it 
ended by serving as governor and U.S. senator to Wyoming, from Wyoming. Anyway, this is the, uh, this is the drawing, drawing room. room. Woodworking or something. Fantastic. Oh, it looks just as it did in 1914, because there's a picture here. How can you draw it as an example? Right into the black, right into that light too. Yeah, that's too bad. But once you turn the corner, it's good. Yeah. We're following it. Huh? He said this way is the offices and stuff.
these are the family bedrooms. The guest rooms are closed up. This is Rosa May's room. This is Dr. Simon and her daughter, Rosa May. It's a ballroom up there. Where's your mother at? She's in the bathroom. She's at where else? In the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Spends 20% of her time in ways. Good lady was in there. What? <laughs> I didn't show it in this, but uh, I was heading this direction. He graduated at the foot of his class.
cook dress element. Uh, 44 Smith and Wesson, owned by Lieutenant James Porter, who was killed with cost. There's time casters. Shoulder knots of Captain Talk, Thomas Custer. That was his brother. Figured that. Captain Custer was a captain. trips to figure it out.
As you look over the battlefield, you can see the white markers showing where the bodies of soldiers will fall after the fight. No markers show where the warriors fell, because very little is known of their casualties. Probably less than 100 were killed, and the dead were removed by their families immediately after the battle. Only the Sioux and Cheyenne were tell what happened to the poor other soldiers. across the river and forced the troops back to the reach. At the top of the initiative, the soldiers found themselves in rough terrain, unsuitable for martyred action. The company seemed to have made individual stands, fighting on foot against the waves of Indians that rolled in from every direction. The warriors did not need to expose themselves to the troopers' fire. Dismounted, they moved from sagebrush to sagebrush and took advantage of the numerous ravines. The remains of about 220 soldiers, scouts, and civilians are buried around the base of this memorial. The white marble headstones scattered over the battlefield to note where the slain troopers were found and originally buried. In 1881, they were reinterred in a single grave on this site. The officer's remains were removed in 1877 to various cemeteries throughout the country. General Custer was buried at West Point. To complete the story of the Battle of the Little Bighorn, we invite you to travel the road to the Rio Benti defense site. Five miles. What? Both. A granite pillar. Oh yeah, sorry. Almost every one of those has crosses except for that one right there. Curly's buried. He was a scout for Custer. Curly. He was a, what, Crow? Yeah. Crow Indian. He left uh, Custer right before the battle of that. What a whip. No, he, he was, was told to. He was oh. told he went for something. He was told by an a older scout to uh, that they weren't going to make it. Kissing me. Keep Why calm you down. Film when I'm arguing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, really arguing. I'm the sweetheart. You're. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell where we are. I'm gonna read it. It's Custer. Fort Custer. I know. I'm Fort Custer, not Custer's Battle. Fort, Fort Custer. Custer. A military 
Established as a military post, November 1877, by the order of President Rutherford B. Hayes and General Phil H. Sheridan. Garrison is one of the important military posts in the Northeast until abandoned by the government, September 1897. What was named? How's that? Is that it? Of General George Custer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We don't want the rock plant in there. I didn't get the rock plant. No. I, I got a little bit, I think. That's all, right. yeah, that's all that's well, left Let's get a it. picture so we can kind of tromp out there in the, in the wild woolly. What are we going to tromp? Out in the field. Right oh, we can do that? We can't, we, yeah, we can't get the uh, uh, the barracks in there, but I think the, uh, the shooting range and stuff was over in that far side. Oh, cool days. There's there just some stuff in there. So man, there should be something. you got to figure they've been scavenging here. Oh, no. There they are, so cheesy fort tester. There's Dad. something too. A horseshoe. There be another horseshoe. Good job. Don't walk towards me, bonehead. <laughs> well, I was trying to get out of your way. So you walk right in front of my camera, huh? Yeah. What? I don't know. Pick it in. Grab a grab foot. Yeah, they like to see that. Come on, huh? camera. Let's back up. What? We're heading this way. Uh-oh. 
church. Yeah. We're making everybody sick, but that's all right. What do you see inside? Well, the cat is locked. Ryan's inside. Is he? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, there you go. Hiya! Uh. See one inside one of these things. I don't know if we're supposed to be. Is this a caboose? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's a ghost coat coming in. Oh. oh, yeah. What? Is that a porta potty? Yeah, it's a skeleton. Mark, you know what? Look, look in it. I don't want to look in it. Look at this stuff in it. There's a hole in the bottom of it. Oh, yeah. It goes out on the tracks. Yeah. Oh, come oh, here. So you can look out the back window and watch it. Yeah. Yeah, it sure does. I've always wanted to go into the Come on. Oh, wow. Little beds with screws on them. <laughs> That's for excitement. Oh, this is a screw on the stove. You have a stove too. Yeah. This is the drive this caboose. Drive it. Like another Audi Express or thing. Shouldn't be. Farmhouse. Farmhouse was built on this side about 1911 by Amos Strife. The formerly Indian land was first bought by the renowned artist J. Sharp. From 1916, the farm was a thriving truck garden operated by the Marcy Weller family. And as far as possible, the house has been furnished as a well daughter. As the well daughter, Mary Weller Black remembered it. While there was never running water in the house, electricity was installed in 1930 when rural electrification came into the area. Too much with everybody in there. Oh, sorry. No, that's all right. I was fat headed. <laughs> Your fat body. No. Yeah. You don't just film her all the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> film around. Film around. <laughs> well, I know it's true.
Who's next? Who's next, Sparkman? 42 shooter. <laughs> get all the signs over there. Jail, eh? Nothing's happening here. Nothing's happening in the bar. This place is a deserted ghost town. to the to the to the place where they keep all the the wagons. Oh, how do you get alive again? <laughs> Old, I guess cowboys never die. <laughs> they just reload. Ten bucks. I don't know what I did. Ten bucks. <laughs> oh. Ten bucks. <laughs> Free. <laughs> Open. One of the officers. Quarter. Or Q. Let's go.
sissies. Okay, your arms is gonna be weak. <laughs> Get out of the way of the house, all I can do is a white hand. But why? Go Officers, one of them. Well, you know, just yeah, what you can. Back to the parade ground. Huh? It's too bad, isn't it? The other officer's homes are right in there. Where are we? Where are we? We're at Fort Lincoln, uh, near Mandan and Bismarck, North Dakota. Looks a buffalo. Let's zero in on that one. This is right. Please touch. Something you'll see. Do not touch. Indian, Indian equipment is pretty powerful up there. Wow. 
Big old river down there, too. Look at that, Mom. Russian. Oh, can't climb the earth lodges, Mom. Do what? You can't climb on the earth lodges. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Creature, get out of the way. Strange creature. Well called. Smoke these uh, pipes. Like <laughs> Ooh, it smells like someone's. She's wanting yeah. to go in here, man. Can't Pretty find the bathroom, huh? <laughs> Don't say that. Always toilet talking. Yeah, always toilet talking. Oh, you brought it up, Dad. No, I didn't. No, you did before you start filming. Even I said that they were owned by women. Oh, yeah? Did they get, did mm. they get the pipes to it? We're home, babe. Peace yeah. pipe. Better than a teepee. Well, I'll tell you, pipe. Let's go to the next one. See what we got here. They're just an Indian earth lodge. Yeah. I mean, it's an apple. Okay. We're going to call it trying to get in place for the river to go. The red cedar post rips in the lone man. The red cedar post rips in the lone man. The red cedar post rips in the lone man. What a loner. What a loner. So the water won't get up past this thing. It's the big, biggest one. They probably have some. That's a not awesome thing. Cool. Huh. Reminds me of that one movie, um, Poltergeist. Yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, here comes a squaw. Hey, squaw. Come on in, squaw. Come on, Pinky. I well, think it's a hair. I'm just going to leave it running. We'll just put them there. Huh? 
Yeah, they're all basic things. So. Where? Alright. Heck, why not? Got about three reels left. Should stop any minute now. About how many? I don't know. A little bit. <laughs> that was a strange creature. I feel like an Indian when I'm around here. <laughs> 